Hi everyone and welcome to this video where we're going to integrate our Splice sound library with the ADSR sample manager. And the reason you might want to do this is because the uh, Splice app is a standalone app and you might want to actually have a bit more functionality from the sound library by having it inside your DAW on one of your tracks which then means you can preview your loops in time with each other and also means you can play your samples at different pitches up and down the keyboard so you can get a better idea of what's going to work in the actual track. So this is the demo loop I've got at the moment, it's just a basic backbeat. So if we go to this third track now, you'll see I've got a blank instance of the ADSR sample manager plugin loaded on it. And we can go and we can add our splice sound library into this plugin as a dynamic library, which automatically updates every time we download new samples in splice. So to do that, we just need to click on the splice icon or we could get it from the dock. Once we have this, we can then navigate to the settings, which in this case is from this little navigation drop down here. We go to preferences. And then we can see our splice folder here. So mine is users, Josh, splice. And we can click go to folder here and it shows us where the folder is. And you can see I've added splice to my favorites bar as well, just to make it easier to find later on. So now that we know where that is, we can get rid of splice. We can then go back to the ADSR sample manager and we click add library and it will be on this libraries tab when we open the plugin up as a new instance. And then I can just click on splice and sounds and by selecting sounds it's now chosen that root directory of all of the splice packs that I've downloaded. So I can just click open and you can see it's going to scan all of these and add all of the tags. So now we can search for these in the database. We can then play them either using our MIDI keyboard or even our computer keyboard if we wanted to. So to demonstrate, I'll just hit a few notes on my computer keyboard. And you can hear that that's working up and down the keyboard. And that would also work on the MIDI keyboard as well. And then likewise, we could also draw the MIDI in just using our mouse as well in a clip. And then we can also search for tags or names or even sample pack names. And then we'll be able to find those samples. And what is also great about this is if I just jump over to Splice now, so you can see we're now on the Splice Sounds site and you can see if I go to the techno genre what we'll do is we'll just download a sample pack so I'll go for this organic elements that we have here and this is by Black Octopus so what we'll do is I'll just download this now and it's going to download to my Splice folder on my computer hard drive and we can check that this has now been downloaded to Splice just by clicking on the Splice icon and we can see that it shows us here that we've got our downloads our organic elements or OE as we can see the file name is. So now all we have to do is navigate to our ADS our sample manager and they'll be there straight away. All we have to do is hit refresh because if you remember we pointed this library at our splice sounds folder which means that every single time a new sample is downloaded it's automatically going to go in that folder so all we have to do is hit refresh as you can see it's now analyzed those extra samples or in this case the organic element sample pack that I added and it's then going to add those tags in the background so we're free to carry on doing what we want so in this case I'm going to search OE and I know I'm going to find all of the samples from that pack I'm free to preview these play them across the keyboard add or remove any tags and use them as I want to within my production. So let's try and find something that's going to work with the basic backbeat we've already got going. So what I'll do is I'll just draw in a legato note on C3 and this is going to allow me to click on different samples in the sample list pane and try out different ideas in context and in time with the rest of my project. And then we could also easily transpose these loops as well, just by shifting the MIDI note up or down. And likewise, this would work exactly the same if we were just triggering one-shot samples as well. So that's the end of this video covering how you can integrate your dynamic splice sounds library with the ADSR sample manager.